for months there has been a fierce competition between a bunch of turkeys trying their wind <laughs> their way into the White House. <laughs> Some of you caught that. Well, today I can announce that the American people have spoken and we have two winners. Their names are Honest and Abe. I confess that Honest looks like good eating, but this is a democracy. Abe is now a free bird. He is Totus, the turkey of the United States. <laughs> yes. Seamus, is he attacking you? Are you okay? My political director is getting pecked by Totus. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank the chairman of the National Turkey Federation, Dr. Douglas, as well as farmer Joe Hedden, who personally raised this turkey in California's Central Valley. Uh, America is, after all, a country of second chances, and this turkey has earned a second chance to live out the rest of his life comfortably on 1,000 acres of open land, complete with a barn called the White House on Turkey Hill, which actually sounds pretty good. Uh, if for some reason Abe can't fulfill his duties to walk around and gobble all day, Honest is in an undisclosed location, ready to serve as the totus in the totus line of succession. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay. By the way, I, I, can I just, uh, I'm going to publicly thank uh, Malia and Sasha for once again standing here with me <laughs> during the turkey party. <laughs> They do this solely because it makes me feel good. <laughs> Not because they actually uh, think that this is something I should be doing. <laughs> and, and you know, uh, as you get older, uh, you appreciate when your kids just indulge you like this. So I, I'm very grateful. Uh, where was I? Later today, Michelle, Malia, Sasha, and I will take, uh, take some of the less Turk, uh, fortunate turkey brothers uh, with us. Uh, they will have been packed and frozen uh, to help serve a Thanksgiving meal to homeless veterans here in D.C. And it's a reminder. Uh, it's a reminder not only of the spirit of giving during this holiday season, but our national obligation to make sure all those who serve and sacrifice our country have a place to call home. Uh, my administration uh, considers this one of our top priorities, uh, making sure that uh, we're bringing about the reality of, of zero homelessness for our veterans. Uh, and I want to thank uh, Jane Doe Turkey Farm in Pennsylvania for donating the turkeys for us to share with others for the seventh year in a row. It is hard to believe that this is my seventh year of pardoning a turkey. Time flies, even if turkeys don't. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I thought it was good. <laughs> I know. You think it's funny too, don't you? I know some folks think this tradition is a little silly. Uh, I do not disagree. Uh, I've got to listen to my critics. Uh, say I'm often too soft on turkeys. Uh, and I'm sure the press is digging into whether or not the turkeys I've pardoned uh, have really rededicated their lives to being good turkey citizens. Uh, but I, I do enjoy this chance to wish America a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, we go through challenging times and you know, so often the news of the day uh, you know, can make folks uh, discouraged. But the fact is, is that we live in the greatest country on earth, and we are blessed uh, in so many ways, most of all because we have uh, families and friends and people we care about. Uh, we look out for each other. We looked out for uh, 
Uh, our neighbors and our friends uh, were grateful for the brave men and women of our military who serve all around the world and for the families that miss them. Uh, I'm especially grateful to have the privilege and the honor to serve as your president. Uh, so I'm also grateful for the fact that the Bears are going to beat the Packers this weekend. Uh, with that, I hope that everybody has a very, very happy Thanksgiving, and I now I'm going to go over and, with the power vested in me, officially pardon this turkey.